Here's another frustrating reality of the U.S. electricity system. Even when we plan new power generation, even when projects finally get approved for interconnection, even when electricity is actually being generated, getting that electricity to where it's needed is a major problem. And this transmission bottleneck is one of the biggest and least understood reasons electricity prices keep rising and grid reliability keeps getting worse. And we're gonna break this down. But before we do, click that like, subscribe, and the alert bell, which is totally free to you and it helps us out. Now, let's get into this. So what do we mean by transmission? Transmission is the high voltage backbone of the electric grid. These are the large, long distance power lines designed to move massive amounts of electricity from where power is generated to where people live, work, and consume it. Transmission connects regions together. It allows surplus power in one area to support shortages in another. And it's what turns a collection of local grids into a national system. When transmission works well, you barely notice it. When it doesn't, everything gets more expensive and less reliable. So it's important to understand why transmission demand is exploding in the first place. We need more transmission because electricity consumption is growing faster and in different places than the grid was ever designed for. I mean, think about it. We're seeing AI data centers measured in hundreds of megawatts, rapid electrification of vehicles, buildings, and industry, extreme heat and cold driving sharper, less predictable peaks, and large industrial facilities and data infrastructure adding significant new electrical load. All of that means we need to move more electricity over longer distances more often, so we need more transmission lines. Now here's the core problem. New transmission lines typically take seven to 12 years to plan, permit, and build. Seven to 12 years. That timeline was set in a world where demand grew slowly, loads were predictable, power plants were centralized, and infrastructure planning could move at a more measured pace. That world is gone. Demand is accelerating in months and years, but transmission still moves in decades. And transmission is uniquely hard because it crosses everything. So unlike a power plant that sits on one side, transmission lines cross private land, uh, multiple counties, state borders, and they face federal, state, and local jurisdictions. Every mile introduces new permitting requirements, new landowner negotiations, potential lawsuits, and political opposition. See, everyone wants reliable electricity, but almost no one wants a transmission line near their home or property. This isn't because people are irrational. It's because the benefits are regional while the impacts feel local. That tension slows projects, it drives up cost, and it kills lines the grid desperately needs. So this means that when transmission can't keep up, the grid becomes congested. And congestion, what does that mean? It means low cost power can't reach high demand areas. It means grid operators are forced to dispatch older, more expensive plants. It means price differences between regions grow wider. Those extra costs don't disappear, they show up on your electricity bills. This is why you can have cheaper power available in some places and high prices somewhere else at the exact same time. The power exists, it just can't get there. So transmission, it isn't just about cost. It's also about resilience. During extreme events, heat waves, cold snaps, storms, regions rely on transmission to support each other. When transmission is constrained, regions can't share power. Local systems get overloaded and small problems cascade into major emergencies. A constrained grid has no flexibility and flexibility is what keeps the lights on when conditions change fast. Here's the uncomfortable reality. We are adding demand far faster than we are expanding transmission. And there's no realistic way to compress a 10 year transmission timeline into two or three years at national scale. That means that congestion will increase. Price volatility will continue and reliability risk will grow. This isn't a temporary mismatch, it's structural. And this is why the phrase, just build more power, misses the point. In a system built around large, centralized power plants, generation without transmission is stranded. Interconnection without transmission is limited. And long distance dependence makes the grid more fragile, not stronger. If electricity can't move, it can't help, no matter how clean, cheap, or abundant it is. 
That's why the traditional model of building bigger plants further away and relying on long transmission lines is running into hard limits. And it's also why behind the meter generation, distributed energy, storage, and local resilience are becoming so important because they reduce the need to move electrons long distances in the first place. We'll dig into those solutions in the new year, but you can't understand why they matter unless you understand why the old model is breaking. Transmission exposes the limits of the old centralized grid. Next episode, we'll talk about why clean energy is still misunderstood and how that misunderstanding keeps us stuck with slower, more expensive choices. Subscribe to stay ahead of the curve. We'll catch you next time.